An adaptation is a heritable functional trait of an organism that is the product of natural selection. Adaptations make organisms better able to survive and reproduce in a given environment. Now a major challenge in biology is to understand the heritable genetic basis of adaptation. One compelling idea is that linked genes help facilitate adaptation. These genes are called supergenes because they allow groups of beneficial traits to be passed on to offspring together. Now alternate forms of a supergene mean that different groups of adaptations can be easily passed on to different offspring. Despite the evolutionary importance of supergenes, little is known about how different supergene alleles arise and how they're maintained in a particular species. We address these questions by investigating the evolutionary history of a supergene in the white-throated sparrow. Now this species consists of two morphs or forms that differ in uh, feather coloration and components of their social behavior. White morphs have brighter plumage, they have bright white stripes on their head, they're more aggressive, they sing more, and they are promiscuous. Tan morphs, on the other hand, are duller in plumage, they have tan stripes on their head, they are less aggressive, they sing less, they are far more parental, and they are monogamous. Now, both morphs occur in males and females. Morphs and all the associated behaviors are determined by these alternate supergene alleles, which are located on a chromosomal inversion on chromosome 2. The supergene is very large and covers over 100 megabases, 100 million bases. Now the fact that we have a white morph supergene and a tan morph supergene in one species makes the white-throated sparrow a unique model for studying complex gene behavior relationships. Now we've studied a population of white-throated sparrows in the Adirondack Mountains of New York for over 27 years. Using over two decades of this field data, we document near-perfect disassortative mating amongst the morphs. So white males mate almost exclusively with tan females, but tan males mate almost exclusively with white females. Now there are fitness consequences for those rare cases of assortative mating, especially for pairs that have a white male and a white female, because these pairs run the risk of producing chicks with two copies of the white supergene, and this is probably a lethal genetic combination. We use de novo whole genome sequencing coupled with population and phylogenomic data to show that the white morph and the tan morph supergene alleles are highly divergent at over 1,000 genes. Some of these genes code for hormone receptors that are master controllers of behavior. Our evolutionary analyses indicated that the white morph and the tan morph supergenes originated prior to the split of the white-throated sparrow from its North American sister species. That includes the white-crowned sparrow, the Harris's sparrow, and the golden crown sparrow. Our analyses also suggest that the white supergene was introduced into the sparrow lineage through past hybridization and intergression. And our data suggests that the white supergene may be degrading, similar to the Y sex chromosome in mammals and the W sex chromosome in birds. Now despite this degradation of the white supergene, the tan supergene also shows surprisingly low levels of genetic diversity, which we find is caused by negative or purifying selection rather than positive selection. Now the white and the tan supergenes are independent, but they show striking parallels in their divergence and their degradation. Both of these supergenes are maintained in the species because of the strong disassortative mating system, which ensures that white and tan offspring are continually produced. The extreme nature of this disassortative mating in this species sets up a situation where there are effectively four sexes, so white males, tan males, white females, and tan females. Now examples of animals with more than two sexes are very uncommon, and theory suggests that such systems should not be stable. So despite the apparent stable nature of the white and tan polymorphism, it may actually be unstable over long evolutionary time periods. So given enough time, the four-sex system of the white-throated sparrow may eventually collapse into a two-sex system.